Hi, Zebra friends. This will be our last read aloud together. Um, and it is up in the garden and down in the dirt. Now, there's a ton of awesome language in this book. So I'm going to point out where that is. And we can get started. So up in the garden and down in the dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan. My hands full of seeds and my head full of plants and dreams. So he's thinking and his brain is planning. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Snow's not sleepy, but it makes us feel sleepy. But that sun comes, and the birds come, melts it all away. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud, sucks at my rain boots. The mud sucks at his rain boots, so it makes slushy noises. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? A good question to ask would be, what do you think is down there? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. Soil is another word for dirt. They're already working down in the dirt. Worms, caterpillars, snails, all oh, ladybugs, all those little bugs. They're all working in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks. That means the brittle means that they are snappable. Snap them in half. Scoop rustly armfuls and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So they're getting all the soil ready, picking the weeds out, they're getting the soil ready. Compost is like nutrients and vitamins for the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through the last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor. Roly poly round. Those are what we call those roly polies. They're actually called pill bugs. They eat all that stuff, look, under the dirt. See what's on top of the dirt? Bunny. Under the dirt is those leaves and those roly polies. It's pill beetle. Pill bottle. <clears throat> Up in the garden, it's now time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. So that means when he said he did that with his finger... That he uh, trails a furrow. That means he made a line with his finger to put the seeds in. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato horn warm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. So here they're watering the plants. Plant it and water it. Watch your throat. Ooh, what are those? Bzzz. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms blossom, bloom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. Pollen's in a mill flowers. That's what the bees need to make honey and they move it all around from flower to flower and that's what helps it grow. I need, I read and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. So it's getting hotter outside, and those earthworms go underground. Unless it rains, then they come out, right? Oh, look at that. What's that? 
Baby birds in their nest. Up in the garden. Rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! Look at it. And they're having fun. In spring, we need the showers to water the flowers. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and long-legged spider with stilt walks over the stream. There's a lot of details in these pictures. You can see those roots underneath. And the stem, the leaves, and the flower. Oh, and there's a dragonfly. And a squirrel. Does Miss Jackie like squirrels? Mm -mm. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. That's a bug. Not a bug. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. They're eating fresh vegetables right from the garden. Delicious. See how the bugs eating? And so are the people. Down in the dirt, Robin's beak find Finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. That's what birds eat. Things down in the dirt. That's why they peck at the, at the uh, ground. They bring it back to their babies. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini. Cucumbers and zucchinis. Harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Skunks are nocturnal and so are owls. That means they are awake at night and they sleep during the day. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids and I'm after a grasshopper ready to swoosh. But... What do you think is going to happen? Ready to swoosh. Let's see. But snap. Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. It's a grass, a garden snake. Not dangerous to us. They just eat bugs. Some people don't like them, though, because snakes are scary sometimes. Look. She's, S is for sunflower. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Ooh, what season is it turning? Who can guess? Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Maybe you can make a little reading uh, house outside. Down in the dirt, an orb Weaver spins her web strand by silken strand. She'll munch on the moths tonight. The spider is going to make the web and catch the moths and eat them. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. So it's fall, that means winter's coming, right? Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too, down in the dirt. Frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for the cooler days ahead. 
The ants are going to stock up on food so that they don't have to come out in the winter. Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. So it's cold, it's winter, and everything is wrapping up or going underground because down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. See, they curl up underground to stay warm. When Grandpa calls us in for soup and autumn moon is rising up in the garden the dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter but the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds the ladybugs and bumblebees earthworms and ants are hunkered down hiding biding their time hunkered down hiding means that they are underground staying warm hiding Biding their time means they are waiting. So all those little bugs are underground, staying warm and waiting. Or, what do you think they're waiting for? They are dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow. A whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. So they're waiting for it to be spring again. And that is the end. I'm going to, I'll take a picture of the, about the animals in the back and some of the words. Any questions your child has about a word, um, ask me or just explain it to them what the word means. That's up in the garden and down in the dirt.